Hey everyone, it's Jason. So we got another unboxing for Epic the Card Game. This is the Lost Tribes expansion. Uh, so these are four different packs. So it's different about these than the other uh, packs that have come out. Is each one is has a specific alignment. Um, so you're going to get some extra stuff in here. It says a roll sheet, two tokens, two score cards, and then 15 cards that are aligned per each class. So all the other ones, they only had 13, which had three cards for each alignment. Um, so you bought, you were getting cards for each, each different color. Um, but then you're getting like an overall experience. This one, now you can just specifically buy. So maybe if you're really just a fan of one versus the other, you can buy that. Um, that's kind of a neat idea. Um, and with 15 cards, you could buy two packs and be like, now I can just combine these two or just combine these two. Which also adds a little bit of a feel there, too. Um, you know, makes sure you make full decks that way. So that's kind of fun as well. Because um, the other ones, you only ended up with 12 cards total, which isn't even enough to make a deck. So here, you could literally buy all four of these and you could make decks. This is also a... Essentially, a direct expansion to the Guardians of Gowana. Um, where the other one was like expansion more like kind of on its the tyrants and upbringing were expansion sort of like together. So, I don't, it just has one um, thing says the Northern War Fleet was pulled by a mighty storm to the tropical shores of Gowana. So this lost tribe unite with the good people of Gowana. And I believe all four of them have the same little story. Yep. Oh, I guess each one a little bit differently. Will the Lost Tribe survive the harsh jungles of the Savage Beasts? Um, will the Wisdom can this Lost Tribe gain from the ancient cultures they find there? And for the evil, will the evil of this new land in their own hearts consume the Lost Tribe? So, alright, we're just going to jump in and look to see what we got in here. So we're going to start with the good pack and see what new goodies we get. Oh yeah, like right there it says, uh, each player may combine any two Lost Tribe packs to make a 30 card two alignment deck shuffle when you're ready to play. So I think that's why they went this route versus the, um, the four, four different ones in each pack. Which although those are kind of neat because then you gained a little bit for each color. Um, but then this way I think it's supposed to be the ease of play. So I said, yeah, if you can just right off the bat buy two packs of these and you can sit down and play so we're gonna get a little booklet with this the lost tribe which has frenzy grudge and invoke rules so these were brand new keywords that were added in the guardians set um and they just put them in here in case you bought these without buying that at least you have an idea of what the rules do basically frenzy is you get this effect if you have your opponent has more cards than you grudge um, after at least play for any reason, you get the effect. So, Tribute are when they come in, Grudge are when they leave. And then Invoke lets you play it from the discard pile without paying its cost, but then you banish it. Um, so very, very easy to figure out. So, let's see what we're going to get for our good cards. We're going to have a Courier. Uh, Ambush. Loyalty. Put two human tokens into play. At the start of your turn... Gain one health for each champion you control. Decoy. Blitz. This card must be blocked if able. Tribute. You can recycle him. And Discipline. A Phanelix. Uh, ambush. Unbanishable. On your turn, your champions have plus three attack. On your opponent's turn, they have plus three defense. Um, endure. Draw two cards. Or target champion all other champions the same name game righteous and unbreakable this turn draw a card the foreign ambassador uh, blitz and unbashful when blocked draw a card hairbringer of champions airborne and grudge you may put a champion from your hand into play overcome each of your champions that are currently blocked or blocking gain plus five plus five or draw two cards. Pharos, the light bearer. 
uh, righteous and unbanishable. 13, 14. You don't have a lot of really huge uh, good characters, so that's actually fun. Uh, preparations. Uh, you may prepare target champion. Your champion can attack this turn. Draw two cards. Replenish. You may put one gold from your discard pile on top of your deck. Uh, responsive sentry. Ambush and righteous. Scout ahead. Uh, put two human tokens into play. Target champion and unbreakable this turn. You may invoke. Shaman of Renewal, Blitz, return target good card from your discard pile to your hand. Uphold, gain 10 health, if it's your turn, banish all champions. And Wayward Sentinel, uh, ambush, and that's it. So then you're also going to get two, two human tokens. Uh, to have new artwork uh, for the honor of my ancestors and on the other side we'll get a sneak peek at one of the demons what is thy bidding my master um, and then finally we'll get some new health cards zoom out a bit for those so zero through nine and I flip them over um, a little bit higher level cards so this is if you want to keep track of uh, the higher level I just, that's cool um yeah so that's the good pack I one thing I have to say I did like about that was it wasn't a lot more of the um make human tokens make human tokens that's what a lot of the uh, good characters do uh so it's nice to see a little bit of stuff getting away from just doing that especially thematically it kind of makes sense now we're going to look at the evil, which have a giant snake on there. So if this kind of falls suit, that means we won't have... I'm kind of hoping we don't have a, just a ton of cards creating demon tokens. It's like, that's a fine mechanic and everything. Um, but it would be kind of nice if they didn't just include that. So you're going to get your little booklet. Alright, so we have Calamity. Draw two cards. Each player starting with you breaks two champions they control. Uh, Corpse Grafter. Uh, tribute or ally. You may banish target card from a um, discard pile. If you banish a champion this way, this card gains either Airborne, Berserk, Breakthrough, or Unbreakable. Uh... Dire Vulture, Ambush, Airborne, Loyalty 2, Break Target, Expended Champion. Estranged Cultist, Tribute, Unbreakable this turn. At the end of your turn, if you have unspent gold, put two demon tokens into play. So that's actually a fun way to do that. Um, Forest Revify, draw two cards, break all champions, then starting with you, each champ returns a champion from the discard pile to play. Fresh meat, deal 3 damage to target champion. If this breaks it, put a zombie token into play. Discard a card to invoke. Uh, Jinx, draw 2 cards. If it's your turn, break 7 target champions. Target as many as possible. Uh, there's our Cobra, we have a King Cobra. Frenzy, break all champions damaged by this card. Tribute, deal 5 damage to target opposing champion. If you have Frenzy, this breaks it. Nice. Um, a Cultus. Tribute. Deal. Uh, discard a card and then return a champion from your discard pile to play. Scream of the Banshee. Draw two cards or you lose three health. Break all champions. Uh, Tethered Soul. Ambush. Grudge. Put two demon tokens into play. Trouble, Torment, and Toil. Put two zombie tokens into play. Deal four damage. To each target champion, gain four health and recall. Vicious Warrior, Frenzy with Blitz. Unless card attacks, recycle. Willing Sacrifice. Uh, break this card, break target champion. And the last one is Wrath. 
put a zombie token into play, or use your turn deal one damage to target player and each of their champions you may invoke. So yeah, they did a good job of not having a ton of them. There's what, like four of the 15 had the ability to create tokens. Um, so there's demons, and we got some more humans, which we've seen before. Um, and then there was an error on that last pack. So we're supposed to get one card that had a border like this, which has 0, um, 10, 20, 30, and then the 10. That way you can keep track like this, and you have 39, or 36, 35, 34, and then if you drop down to 20. They start adding these in the, uh, in some of the later bigger boxes, but it's nice to have them in the packs, because then you have them, if, again, if you just grab two of these packs, and you just want to play, um, you have the cards necessary to keep track of your health. So that's really fun. Alright, now let's look at the Sages. So, Sages had a lot of stuff that dealt with, um, drawing extra cards. And doing, like, two damage. So we'll see if they kind of keep on that or if they get... They kind of go a little bit different. So your little booklet, which we don't really need. Ooh, right off the bat, we get one of the Lycomancers. So Apprentice Lycomancer. Blitz. Tribute. Put a wolf token into play. Transform non-wolf champion into a wolf token. Um, the only thing I wish here with this game was... Um, so they have a evil demon, an evil zombie, a good human, and a wild wolf token. But then these sages also create wolves. So I wish they would have almost had um, tokens to have uh, sage wolves as well. Just because then they would work with the other abilities and stuff like that. Uh, not as big of a deal, but would have been a little bit thematically more interesting. Uh, Capricious Apparition. Airborne ambush, grudge, banish target, player disc, banish target, player's discard pile, capture, draw two cards, or uh, return all zero champions to their owner's hand and discard and draw a card. A cyclone, draw two cards, or the player whose turn it is chooses one of their champions, return all their champions to their owner's hands. Leyline Trapper, Ambush, put three plus one plus one counters on this card. Like you're getting some beefy cards for the other other uh, alignments. Mystic Charmer, Ambush, or Tribute the Target, player gets minus ten this turn. Prophetic Shaman, uh, reveal the top card of your deck, either play it or banish it. Reality Shift, draw two cards. If it's your turn, return all non-sage champions to their owner's hands. Rescue, uh, return all attacking and blocking champions you own to your hand. Um, or draw two cards. Uh, Shifting Spectre, Ambush, you may pay, you may return target zero champion to its owner's hand. Spirit of the Sea, Grudge, return all champions to their owner's hands. It's a lot more returning card effects. The Warden, uh, it's an Elf, um, Ambush and Untargetable. Thought Spectre, Tribute, draw two cards, Grudge, discard a card. Time Wrinkle, Recycle, or start with you, each player returns one of their champions to its owner's hand. Vengeful Ghost, Blitzing Unblockable. And that was all for those. And then we'll have our health cards. Just kind of neat because each one is, uh, they could have just made all of them the same one, but it's neat. they made them different artwork for each color. And then the Wolven Zombie Token. So we haven't seen these yet. So we have Brains. And the bear to eat you with, which I think we've seen that artwork repeatedly. Alright, that was our Sages. And then now let's check out the final one, which is the Wild. So the Sages one did go about not doing the 
lot to draw. It had some drawing. We had a lot more banishing and uh, returning stuff. And it also had um, less just direct damage. It's not like the wilds. They had a lot of stuff where they created uh, wolf tokens. Um, the other thing they did a lot of so far was um, fire damage. Uh, so it does massive direct damage to something, or big dinosaurs. So we'll see if they stick with any of those. So we have Animal Reflection, deals 6 damage to a target. Frenzy, you put 4, plus 1, plus 1 counters on target champion. Uh, Beast of Burden, Giant Elephant. Frenzy, Ambush, your champions have Blitz, including this card. Charging Rhino. Uh, Frankly, your champions have Breakthrough. I'm getting some more Breakthrough cards in here. Uh, Deanouchus. This is another Dinosaur. Uh, Frenzy Blitz. This card damage the player. You may deal that much damage to target champion. Uh, Feral Feeding. Draw two cards. Or deal four damage to each opposing champion. Your champions get four attack, four defense. Flame Channeler. Tribute, put a wolf token into play. If at the end of your turn you have unspent gold deal damage equal to the number of your champions to a target. Uh, a hungry dragon, airborne, loyalty 2, deal 1 damage to each other champion. And tribute, you may break target damage champion. Inferno, draw 2 cards or deal damage equal to the number of champions in play to each champion and player. Massive Spider. Uh, there's a bunch of giant cards in this set. Uh, loyalty 2. Remove other players' champions from battle. Nature's Attendant. Uh, deals Grudge. Deals 6 damage to a target. Pack Leader. When this card attacks, your currently attacking champions gain break through this turn. Seer. Deal 3 damage divided. Anyway, amongst targets, you choose up to three targets or draw two cards. Um, Tail Slap. Deal one damage to target champion and expend it. Frenzy Recycle. And the last one is we have a Tree Ink. Uh, Frenzy Tribute gets Frenzy Draw a card and Tribute has Frenzy Draw a card. Um, that is definitely neat. And then we will, of course, have our two coatings. The wolves and the zombies. And we get some artwork cards for our um, leveling up. Yeah, so it got away from lots of the stuff I said. There was only one dinosaur in there, plus a dinosaur event. There wasn't a ton of fire burn cards. There's only a few wolf cards. So that's a great way to do an expansion like this. Um, is you gain more cards for each set, but you're not gaining just more of the exact same stuff you had. They played a lot of the same themes, but they didn't have the exact same, just, oh, here's more of this, here's more of that. Um, they played to some of the other aspects, so that way it's like, oh, I like that they did this, or I like that they did this type of thing. I kind of like to do that. So that's really fun. Um, plus, again, it's, the, it's like a direct expansion to the Guardian set, so it adds a new keywords. So if you bought the Guardian one, this might be a great thing to buy right after that. Um, or with that, just so that way you can have a bunch of mix and matches. Um, Alright, that's what we got. See you guys later. Bye.